Okay, Jennifer, what are we talking about today on the second installment of On Gaming? We are talking about dice. And it's on board games. It's on board games. Yes. Yes. We're talking about dice. Dice. Die. Die. D4. D4. D6s. D6. It's all there. It's confusing in the instruction booklet. What are they for, Jennifer? For confusing the layman's. Well, let's explain what a D whatever is. Okay, D stands for dice, or die. Yes. And the number after it is how many sides it has. Right. So the most commonly used are D4. No, they're D... Oh, okay, yeah, I guess so. And then we have the most common is D6. Yes. Okay, which has six sides. Yes. And then we have... D eight, D ten, D twelves, and D twenties, which I think would be the second most common. It's used a lot in role playing games, which we don't have. Right. So the number after D means the side of the number of sides on a die. If there is a number before the D, it means how many dice to use. Like 2D6 would mean use two six-sided dice and so forth. Four, six, or 4D6 means use four six-sided dice. So, dice are used in uh, a lot of games. Mar trash games for the majority for a while, but lately it's been switching over to uh, Euro games. Um, Usually in Ameritrash games, they are used for, like, combat or combat checks, skill checks, uh, push or lock elements, stuff like that. But lately, Euro games have been using them as um, a various amount of things, like uh, workers and worker some worker placement games, like Kingsburg and, and Euphoria. Um, and then... Some games use them as markers for to level up a certain aspect of the game, like in Kemet, where they're used as a temple to level up from level one to level four. And uh, sometimes they're just used in there for randomness in a game, or chance in a game, more or less, more than randomness. Yeah. Um. So, what are some of the games you like that have dice in them? I like 1775. Yes. It has die for each, well, dice for each faction, you know, whatever side you're on. Right. Um, and that those are used for your battle. Yes. N- not for, that's for battling, not for movement. I like um, Last Night on Earth, that has die. Dice. Yes, that is dice for the combat and, and movement. for movement. Yes, and for to see how many zombies come out. Yes, yes. And well, the more dice you have, the more probability that you'll get the whatever you're looking for hits or whatever. Yes. Um. Yeah. And I like Yahtzee. Yahtzee. Yes, yeah, there's set collection. They're used for set collection there, and like in King of Tokyo or Yahtzee or uh, Couriers is another one. It's, I've never heard it's, of that. It's a die building game. Or this big one, Marvel Dice Master, and stuff like that. Um, it just brings some chance into games, usually. Um, unless, like I said, they're used for Euro games where there's not a whole lot of chance, but if there is, it's usually able to be mitigated. I like that they come in pretty colors. They do. They come in all sorts of colors and shapes and sizes. And yeah. And materials, and it can get quite expensive. There's metal dice, poly dice, there's... Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Six-sided dice that they charge ten bucks a piece for. They didn't charge you. I bought them for you. Whatever. (laughs) Yes, there's pretty much, you know, any die you can think of people making. There's rounded dice. I've seen that. There was a Kickstarter for that. Round dice? Yeah, I think it was a... 40 sided die or something. Oh, I was going to say, round dice, wouldn't you just call that a ball? It was just about a ball. <laughs> um, so, you know, like I said, dice bring in 
uh, um, chance in, in, in a lot of games. So, Jennifer, while we're talking, what do you like about gaming? What do I like about gaming? Yes. Or gaming with dice. Well, either or. Why, why do you like gaming? It's fun. It's fun? Yeah, I grew up playing games, and it's just, it's just good times interacting with people. Yes. Yeah. yeah. What kind of people? Weird people? I, I do seem to know a lot of weird people, yes. so yeah. I know some horrible people who like party games. You're stuck on that card against humanity. That was fun, though. Yeah, it was. It was all right. Uh, you're more of a party gamer. Than, I am, yeah. but I'm also a mass-produced gamer, and you basically refuse to play those games with me. Because I'm a game snob, remember? Yeah, you are. Mm -hmm. I played Clue with you a couple months ago. Yeah. You played Uno. Yeah, yeah. That's two mass-produced games. There you go. Uh-huh. <clears throat> I'm, I might have to start to institute a second game role. What's that? Well, one which we broke today, which is only one brand new game a, get a day. Yeah, they were quick games. They don't count. My second rule might be, for every one of yours, we play one of mine. We do play one of yours. We play Suburbia. I will take Twister off the table, because that's mm. just not happening. But we do play yours. We play Suburbia. We play... I'm talking about... Alhambra. We play... Parcheesi, Uno, Yahtzee. I'm talking... I like Connect Four. I like the sound when they fall out. I like um uh, your all time hated game Monopoly. Yes, I do hate Monopoly. But I like it. Well, I think other games fired Monopoly. Yeah. Lords of Vegas. Yeah, I we don't play that either. But I like. That's because it's not here. It's down the shore. Yeah. <laughs> but I like Monopoly too. I like to play lots of games. Uh, we digress. We do digress, because <laughs> you asked me what I like about games. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, I like some part cheesy, and... Uh, no. You always win at Skip, though. Well, me and my brother played that a lot when... Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> it's not my fault. You're not good at it. I'm not good at Skip, though, mm -hmm. but I like playing it. So, what else do you like about games? Gaming. Um... Being a gamer. Am I a gamer? I don't know. I don't consider myself a gamer, so I don't... How, what's a gamer? Define that for me. A gamer. Like, what, do you got to play games 24-7 or something? Yes, and you won't let me do that, so no, I can't be a gamer. No, because you live in the real world, Barry. I know. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm sorry. I know. Always crushing my dreams, my hopes. Peeing in your Cheerios, I know. Yes, pissing in my Cheerios. So, well, I like games because, you know, it's, it's, uh... Brings your family together. Well, yeah, it did. After my mother died, it probably, you know, my, me and my sister are closer. And, and we, uh, you guys you know. were close to begin with. I don't know if you realize that. Yeah, but it was, like... It's in a shared activity that's not discussing your mother that just passed away. Yeah, well, that, it's, a, it's a social activity. It's not like they're sitting there playing on the phones or, you know, watching TV or something like that. Yeah. It's, a, it's a social interactive interactive hobby. Yeah. But I also like, because most of the time they're puzzles to me. And, you know, it's I enjoy that. It's one of the things I enjoy about my job, you know, trying to figure things out. Yeah. But oddly enough, you bought a puzzle and you've never finished it. Yes. Peculiar. It happens. They got moved. I don't know what happened to it. It's, I've told you many times <laughs> exactly where it is. Oh, that's a different type of puzzle. Yeah, it was a, an actual, literal puzzle. <laughs> yeah, but it's... It, uh, games are more of a mental puzzle than a... The visual puzzle. <laughs> I'll draw E equals MC squared on it for you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so that's you know that's why I like gaming. I mean, and of course with the social aspects so of it, like we were talking about. Well, then I have to tell you, honey, you're not good at puzzles. Why? No, I'm kidding. You win. Because I lose all the <laughs> no, time. No, you do not lose all the time. It depends on the game. I uh, just joking with you. I'm better at mathy games or... Yeah, I'm not good at mathy games. Or puzzle games, like the co-op, you know, pandemic, stuff like that. Yeah. 
How can you be better at a cooperative game? I mean, planning it out. Like, well, we we play differently. I mean, I I usually shoot from the gut. You know, I plan to move or two ahead, but you you plan for a couple moves or I, I think you get AP a lot. And like, there's just so what many is that again? Yeah. analysis paralysis. Oh, yeah. Like, you have so many options, you just freeze up. You know, and you sit there and think about each one individually for a long time. Yeah. We just play differently, you know. Yeah. But I mean, and I notice you usually tend to focus on one thing where I adapt a little better, I think. You in cooperative games, some more than others, become the alpha guy. Well, only that one, and I try not to do that anymore. That, that uh, flash fine. point, you know, I try not to do that anymore. Because I didn't know I was doing it. <laughs> there is dice in that game. In Flashpoint. Oh, Flashpoint, yeah. Yeah, that's just to have the randomness of where the fire's laid out. Yeah, I know. But it's a game you like that has died. Yes. Which yeah. is what we started talking about. But, you know, it's, like I said, that's why I, I like uh, gaming. And, and you meet interesting people, you know. like The secret cabalist, you know, I go up there to the PA and I game with a couple of them guys. And, and all the guys there, Peter Mongers, are pretty interesting, cool people. And I interact with... Uh, Tiffany Ralph and Hunter on 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 uh, Twitter, and you know all the other people. I interviewed. Alex and Isaac. Yeah, Alex and Isaac and Rodney Smith. I, I email him. You know, and, which reminds me, Rodney is now running a fundraiser for his fourth season on Indiegogo. If you're interested, you know, help him out. Back him. Yeah, he provides a good service for the hobby. And I'm gonna kickstart. Pierogies. Somebody did kickstart potato salad. And I they know. got like forty five grand or something. Forty two thousand like dollars. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I'm gonna kickstart pierogies. Yeah. Okay, you do that. Do you think I could get some money for that? I don't know. Because mm-hmm. they're good pierogies. Yeah. Do I have to give pierogies to people? I don't know. This guy wasn't. I don't think. Mm. I don't remember it offhand, but I did look at it because I just didn't believe that he was doing it at first. <laughs> yeah, but. But anyway, we digress again, as usual. <laughs> kind of my thing. I know. So, anything else on why you like gaming or dice? Um, no. Nothing? I think you like games because you don't have to wear pants. Yeah, um, if only people knew how I did all these videos. <laughs> you're not naked. I should have named the channel... Uh, Butt Naked? Um... Pantsless run throughs or something. I did see the shirt that I'm gonna get you for your plumber crack. Games without pants. Actually, games I think without s- pants. somebody took that one. I think. Doesn't um. I actually um, should have thought about the name of the channel a little bit more before I actually picked it because you know my taste in gaming's changed and uh, yeah, you know, not really a gateway gamer. Well, I do like gateway games, but I mean, well, it's um, not strictly gateway games anymore. Who's that late night? David Letterman. Isn't his production company No Pants? Mm, I don't know. All right. I'm digressing. Again, she's digressing. Always digressing. So, folks, you know, why don't you tell me what you like about the uh, the gaming hobby? You know, we're always interested in your thoughts and your uh, comments. Leave them below in the thingy underneath the description. In the comment section? <laughs> that would be it, the comment section. Oh, mm-hmm. excellent choice. <laughs> yeah. And uh, as always, any comments or questions, you know, always well, welcome to uh, send them. I'll answer them as soon as I can. That's about it, I think, for this episode, Richard. That's right, Barry. So get gaming. And have fun. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Go ahead, say it. I love Barry. Okay. <laughs> Play more games. I hate you. I know. <laughs> <laughs>